Welcome to the Team Lost and Shine. I'm Teresa. I'm Mike. And, and we're, we're millennials, millennials and we're making, making it. it. channel we discuss all things that meet within the intersection of millennial marriage and special needs parenting we want to create a community that's both inclusive and encouraging so don't forget to hit that subscription button to help us reach our goal of making it to 1,000 subscribers before we get to the end of this year also don't forget to smash that like button to let the algorithm know that you think we're awesome so um my husband and I are different people. We're talking about love languages today. He's a dude. I'm a girl. We have totally opposite love languages. What? I was going to say, I would hope so. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. I don't know why you thought that was funny, though. Is the mic picking? Okay, it's picking up good. Say something. Something. Come on here, girl. Yeah. You could be louder. So... What is your love language? Physical touch and words of affirmation. Yeah, and those are pretty much equal. Um, mine have changed over the years. I see. My, <laughs> yes. My two highest ones when we first got married, because we did, we read the five love languages before we got married. We read, no, we didn't. We didn't? No. What? We read that during our marriage. No, I think we read that before we got married. I'm we read. To tell this one. Good. We read that before. I mean, uh, during. Like I said before. We read it no, during. we read Twenty One Things read... I Wish I Knew Before I Got Married During, because we did it backwards. Mm. I don't remember that, but okay. Yeah. Mm. I guess. So, um, my top love languages were receiving gifts and acts of service. And they were kind of like, when we say top, like a lot of times I score, well, I scored the same on those, right? And he scored the same on words of affirmation and physical touch. It, it's, it should be noted that I scored zero on physical touch. Like, don't touch me. Like, zero. Not that don't touch me. Not that I don't like touch. And I think that's where I think. Michael got hung up sometimes. Like it's not that I don't like physical touch. Is you touching me doesn't make me feel loved. If that makes sense. Like I can enjoy physical touch, but that's not adding to my love tank. If anything, it's taking away from it because it's draining. It takes a lot of energy. But as what? That's one on food. What? Go ahead and finish talking. But I love touching you. Go ahead and finish talking. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, acts of service since we've had a kid, number one. Like, that's all, really all I want you to do. Don't talk to me nice. Don't touch me. You don't have to buy me nothing. I would like flowers every week, but like, I've pretty much given up on that. Um, but, and I think buying flowers can be considered part of doing something because I like flowers because it makes the house feel nicer, I think. Um, but, yeah. Like, and I think it's just become a very practical way to show me that you care by taking things off of my plate and doing as much as you can to help me. But, yeah. So, we're going to talk about today what is really like having opposite love languages because good. I'm good. I think quality time and physical touch kind of go hand in hand right because mm -hmm. you have to be together to touch each other so like I could be filling your love tank while you could be filling mine but like literally acts of service you would have to be somewhere else doing something else and I like like we are literally polar opposites, and like I don't need it. I don't need physical touch. Do you need acts of service? Do I need acts of service? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. No. Not really. Yeah, and so that's interesting. But what was it like in the beginning of our relationship? 
trying to figure out how to love each other. Do you remember way back when we were living in that two bedroom apartment when we first first got married? Wait, ask that question again. What was it like knowing each other's love languages, knowing that that's not really your love language, and trying to love somebody in that love language? What was it like at the beginning of our marriage? Because I feel like it's different for me now. I mean, trying to do it as opposed to just letting it happen. Would it happen if you just let it happen? I think so. I think not. I don't think so. I disagree wholeheartedly. At least not for me. Um, words really? of affirmation and physical touch. Like, I don't need you to talk to me nice. I don't. Like, giving me a compliment is nice, I guess. But I guess my trauma response is to be like, well, what you want? Mm. No, what I'm saying. <laughs> what? It was easier to just because it was easier for, for me to just do the stuff and where sometimes it feel forced now. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think it would flow better just letting it. I think it's the opposite for me. It used to feel very forced mm-hmm. to remember to, okay, my husband probably needs a hug because that's going to feel the same. Go kiss your husband. Like maybe the first few months the physical change wasn't so bad because knew the way bliss. But, like, words of affirmation, like, it never dawned on me to give you a compliment. Never. You know I love you. Like, I, I fix you I think that's changing for me, too, though. What? Like, I don't, I'm to a point now. Like, no, I mean, I it's think, cool, but. No, I think that part of your love tank is full now. Because at one point. No, I, that's not it. I don't, I don't feel your love tank with words of Oh, Lord. Now, here she go with this. No, I, well, that's, I, not, that's not what I'm saying. Not at all. Listen, listen to my logic. Like, we would have... Let me, let me. Can I finish what I'm saying? What I was... What Wait, the thought I was going first? You, you did. Go ahead. I didn't. I actually didn't. Go, go ahead. So, go. like, in the beginning, we would have conversations about meeting each other's needs and how they were meant. And so, like, I literally would put reminders in my phone... And make lists of things that I could compliment you on mm-hmm. because they're true. I just don't say them. Mm-hmm. I don't think to say them. And so, literally, for like the first two years of our marriage, like alarms would go off in my phone so that I could remember to text you, or I would um, program um, um, text messages to go off to you like throughout the week so that I could remind you and encourage you and. Um, show you with words how much I, I cared about you. Mm-hmm. And so now it is just part of our conversation. Like, you're an awesome dad. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, you look good. Like, it is literally like when you're like, like babe, you want to get married? I'm so glad I get to do life with you. Like, those things come naturally for me to say. And so it's less of a conversation of that's not how I feel your love thing. And so, maybe if that tank is full, you would want to feel loved. Or at least not empty, you would want to feel love in other ways. Mm. See what I'm saying? And then may go too for me with acts of service. There was a time in our marriage where you could always do stuff for me. And then we had a kid and I stayed home and you went to work. And literally, there was so much more that I had to do around the house with you gone most of the time, that that wasn't a way that you could love me. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. You don't think so? You disagree? Go yeah. ahead. You go. No, I'm just, like, words of affirmation, just don't, don't do it for me. Like, I'm like you with physical touch in that area now. Like, I mean, you'd be like, oh, you so handsome. I'd be like, oh, okay. Really? Yeah, I, you know, I mean... Well, when I tell you that, you get offended. No, I appreciate it, but it's just... So how would you like to be loved, Mr. Lawson? Bro, I don't even know no more. Really? Do we need to do the test again? I don't We might have to. I don't know. Do we need to pause and do the test real quick? No. Are you no, sure? No, no, ain't no pause. No, <laughs> I, I mean, I have a physical test deal one, but... Yeah. You think you don't need words of affirmation... Um, as much because the physical tank, the physical touch love tank is emptier? 
Well, I mean, that probably could be a possibility, but I doubt it. No, I just... I mean, it's cool. I find this fascinating. Your love language changed. When did that happen? I don't know. Like, when other people give me a compliment, I'll be like, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, but... But you just don't do as much for you? That's no. that's kind of how like gift giving <clears throat> was for me. Like I would really appreciate. I think I'm leaning a, more towards that now. What gift giving? Thoughtful gifts. And I like getting, you know, my little lungs and. Did you even do tra- try on those pants I got you? I'm gonna try them on. I hung them up. I, <laughs> I hung them up. I'm gonna try okay. them on. I hung them up. I ain't gonna just leave them on the box. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna try them on today. But no, it's just. So gifts of service, you feel like it's. I think we're gonna have to retest. I don't even know. I'm. I, I, maybe I'm just in the moment with that. But uh-huh. I don't even know. I know physical touch for sure. They haven't changed, but yeah, I, I can know. attest to that. I don't know. How you be trying to touch on me, and I just be like, "Why are we touching each other again?" Mm. <laughs> mm. You're so ridiculous. That's what you are. These hands right here. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm just playing. Why is your finger? I told you that. Oh, you burnt the finger. Yeah. And it peeled itself, so I just did So, it. how did you feel when I was like, babe, stop giving me stuff. I want you to do stuff. My love language has changed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, time out. Because <laughs> I received that totally differently. Because there was a very Say long... Less. There was a very... There was a gap. I won't say very, there was a gap between when I told when I told you mm. my love language like wasn't really acts wasn't really um receiving gifts anymore to you actually performing acts of services. There was a gap. For a while I was getting nothing. Mm. So, what was the gap? You was getting nothing. What you mean you was getting nothing? You weren't doing acts of service or giving me gifts. Are you serious, bro? Yes. Quality time was all I could get. And I was thankful for no, it. No, I ain't do no acts of service at all. You didn't perform acts of service. That's a yes or no question. No, I'm answering your question uh-uh. the way that it's best answered. Uh-uh. Hold on. I'm not. I want I'm a not, yes or no. No, I'm not doing that. Hey, because you don't. Is you all, you, it's a yes you or a no. You did not perform acts of service in a way that would fill my love tank. There was a, a period in time where you did stuff just to say it was done or for the end goal. Like, not, I'm loving my wife, but, well, she said her love language is act of service, so I'm going to do this. There were, And we had a conversation about it, so don't act like it didn't happen. Oh, my goodness. And yes, it did. Chat. What? I want com- comment to re- tell Teresa. What? I want y'all to put in the comment section, yes or no. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> yes And then or no. there was... Um, a period of time where you were just like well I don't know what to do like what do you want me to do and so like because we I know you, you slanging a hundred different things well, you and know. then it, no 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 no. No, no 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 not because that you didn't know which thing to do first you didn't know what to do because you be angry for no reason like what you want me what to do what do you do? mean you, you, you had many mad days I'm like bruh what do you need me to I remember that. What do you need me to do? You're angry. What you want me to do? And I think, Lay it out on the table. And I think Let's the, have a conversation. And I, I don't know right now. And I think <laughs> you're using that as cop out, whatever. I'm not using that as You are. Out. But I think the biggest issue was I wanted you to take ownership of the management of my, our home instead of me having to dictate to you what to do all the time. And I think that's the phase that we're moving into now with you taking um, a greater role in the bill management and meal prep and stuff like that. Like, your eyes switch. You all right? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where all this coming from. I, what you mean? I would, wait, when management of a, uh, okay. Like, you do stuff around the house, but like, I have to dictate what you do when you do it. 
if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, like I can think specifically when we lived in the apartment, like you would want me to hand you with the to-do list and I would want you to create your own to-do list. We live in the same house. So like you see the dishes in the well, same house. I was now. doing stuff like that already. Not already, baby. There was, a, I know it's, it was a long time ago, but there was a period of time where you weren't. I love you. You are such a good husband. Get your hand off me. I told you I don't do it for I am life. not throwing you under the bus, but like honestly, Man, with like the in that. And <laughs> Get your hand off my leg. No, but also in that shift from. Because I don't remember none of this. I do. I do very vividly. In that shift from, because we were trying to figure out the whole stay at home wife thing and what to do with Mace. before. This was even before her diagnosis. So this was some time mm. ago. This was at least five years ago, maybe six. Like, what? What time is it? I can't see that, Muhammad Bessima. Just focus. <laughs> but um, like there was a, we were just trying to figure out. It was the first couple of years of our marriage. We were trying to figure out how we did things in the midst of going through a change. And you know, we don't do change well because we struggle with communicating. What are you doing? Silence in my phone. I didn't um, realize it was on vibrate. So like um. In that period of time, we also had to figure out how to love each other in a way as new parents and changing roles and like changing love languages. There was a time where it was a bit of a struggle where like, hey, you know, I'm I, it's true. I'd be lagging on like feeling stuff and actually knowing what I'd be feeling. So like I would feel a way and you'd be like, what? And I'd be like, I don't know. And so it. <laughs> So it took some time, and then when I was able to communicate to me, communicate to you, hey, I think my love language has actually changed. Like, this is what I need from you. I think there was another little period of time where you were like, okay, I don't know what to do now. Tell me what to do. And I was like, well, I don't want to have to tell you. I want you to be able to look at our home and what needs to be done and help me to do it. That was the catalyst behind me quitting doing bill management. Remember those three months where I was like, I ain't doing this no more. You do it. Oh, <laughs> Get your hand off my head. Sorry. Why are you so mad? I'm not mad. You are too. Why? Tell, right. right. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. Go ahead and finish talking. No, to I'm finished. I'm fine. I'm real, I really am. Finish. Go ahead. And you didn't have like. How do you feel like I performed with your love language at the beginning of our marriage? Uh, I think physical touch was a whole lot easier. When we first yeah, it marriage. was. Yeah, it was. And it's something that. And when the kid came, it was over with. <laughs> not over with, obviously. I yeah. still touch you. And you just told me to stop touching you a second ago. I love you, honey. I know we got a kid who needs more attention, so I, mm-hmm. I, I get it. And, like, when I say physical touch is draining, like, our child has been sleeping with us a lot of nights, or at least starting out in the bed with us, because she's been having real trouble sleeping. And, like, just her, because every morning at 2 o'clock, this is why I'd be like, get her out of the bed as soon as she falls asleep. But every morning at 2 o'clock, she holds my hand. Mom. Mom. Like, exactly. That's what she's doing. And I'm just like, oh. I need this energy in my physical touch tank for my husband tomorrow. But here is my kid touching all on me. Got a leg on him. I'm like, oh, get out of my bed. So, like, all of that, like, affects, like, my ability to be able to love you in a way that is foreign to me. Mm. Or it feels foreign. Like, I, I genuinely, like, I, I have to remind myself, you are human. You need to hug people. You need to go cuddle with your husband like that is not top of mind for me it never has been I mean I'm used to it now it's, I'm sorry <laughs> it is what it is. I, I can't I just try to be understanding this well all. what about in the beginning of our marriage or after we had Macy when the I won't say a rift but my yeah, it ability. Little, it was a little rough. It's a rough. I mean, just it is what God really No, it but is like it our is. my ability to be able to love you physically was burdened. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, I mean, but no, like it's the some truth. of that energy, I, can, I had I mean, to split the energy between you and Macy. So when some of that energy started going to Macy, how did that? I how just, was that for you? 
I, I feel like I just get what I get. You know what I mean? That's awful. That's not uh, no. I mean, cause it's Macy gravitate, you know, towards you more. And she, Macy, you know, I, kids are all love languages all the time. So I mean, what what can I do about it? I ain't that much I can do. You know, so I just. I Wait, what do you mean? There's not much you can do. That sounds awful. What can I do? Like the kid, she got she. We have kids with special needs. She gonna need more attention than I'm gonna need. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. So I can't. How does that make you feel? Like what? Can, I I understand. Like I mean. You have a great house there. I got a few of them. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it. Do it suck sometimes? Yeah, but I. I mean. What I do get you it. do when it sucks? Like, how can I help when it's just not great? I do I mean, I find stuff to get into to take my mind off of. It. That's mm-hmm. why I enjoy streaming so much. Like, mm-hmm. I can go in my own world and be good. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I'm fine with that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I go, I could just go go in my own world. Or sometimes I go on my phone and be, you know, watching other people and stuff like it. It, it's, it bring me peace being in my own world sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, What would you tell your younger self about loving your wife over the years? What would I tell my younger self? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't yeah. expect so much. Cause I expected a lot when I got married. Don't expect so much. Just, I mean, enjoy, enjoy it, man. That's that's all you could do. You know, make the most of it, make the best of it. Don't expect I so much. I think too. When I first got married, I like you go from being self sufficient and supplying all of your emotional needs with family and friends and with yourself, mm-hmm. and so when. When I got married, I think I too fell into the trap of I have a husband now. Supply all of my love needs, but like that is impossible for one person to do, right? Because the person has to love themselves. They have to love their family and friends. Yes, my husband is my priority, but like I am a full human being, and like you were well loved before I came here. Mm. So it is perfectly okay for you to also rely on love from other sources and from other people mm-hmm. and me just to be additional love like lamb meow, cherry on top maybe a little whipped cream chocolate syrup drizzle mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't do right I don't know how to be better <laughs> she's sleepy y'all I am I'm so tired I didn't get any sleep last night alright so how are we doing work together as a team uh, we still have room for improvement. We still improve. So it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. One great. thing I do good. One thing I need to do better. Mm, well, I think we described in this video what we need to do a little better. Bay, explicitly. You why is this so hard for you? I don't know. It's I always really it. hard for you. It is. I don't. Know. One uh, thing I'm doing good right now is Teresa. You're being really great at. Being two places at one time. What you mean? Helping moms and oh, and uh, being here when you need to be, I guess. And uh, and you are doing really great at being so supportive and like taking on new roles as we navigate through change. Mm. I really appreciate you for that. One thing that I could do better. Uh, I mean, I think we both do better. Getting back to uh, meeting each other love languages, I think. I think they go for both of us. You can buy me flowers. Okay. It is so funny. I, I really okay. do think... No, listen, y'all. I really do think my depression and anxiety cycles seasonally because this time of the year, like, I feel like a new person. Like, and we'll do life updates, but, like, genuinely like it's like a switch got turned on in my brain no Mm -hmm. lie I was just feeling it a second ago I was like hey this feels really good anyway it's good my nerve bad (laughs) (laughs) it's definitely a switch (laughs) thank y'all
y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Yes or no. What was the yes or no to? They know. <laughs> comment down below. Um, how do you meet your partner's love languages or your family or friends? Because we all need love. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. God bless you.